Welcome everyone to Palm Zoo Tropical House, a brand new mini-series on the channel where we build a palm tree shaped zoo house housing all the tropical DLC animals and some little surprises. If you're in for that, stick with me and let's get going. Welcome back to the palm, today with our beloved Red River Hawk. But first of all, we're going to fill in some water around the palm tree so it's all getting a little bit more tropical. Um, thank you so much for the insane feedback uh, of yesterday's weird monitor video. This is the reason why you have the hawks today. Um, I I planned to have the monitor first, so the this build is already quite a little bit further into the project, so I'm gonna switcheroo these two, um, simply so you don't have two monitor builds after each other. Um, I gotta say though that this is ho hopefully also a very nice habitat today, uh, but yeah, yesterday's response on uh, the 7-Eleven thing was uh, just ridiculous and I loved it. I loved building it, I loved seeing your reactions. Um, I, I loved doing this a little bit. I loved seeing how many people got it in the workshop. And uh, if you still have no idea what I'm talking about, check my channel. There has been a rather special build yesterday about the um, Red River Hawk. Um, it's uh, relatively fun, um, or I should say it's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, you gotta better check this out. It's really cool. Um, I, yeah, I'm just generally happy that you guys also uh, thought that this was such a cool thing. But now let's speak about this wonderful, wonderful build today. You can see that um, with the beginning, I'm f I'm starting to shape the whole building a little bit from the outside with some greenery and stuff. Uh, it's all filled in. And this very episode today is going to show you how the finished arms of, or like actually I should see, say it, leaves um, of the build will look like. Uh, it's gonna be very, very cool with um, how this all works together with like, you know, the monkeys uh, swinging around or the gibbons, I should say, um, with the foliage in place, with a little, you know, seating area at the end of the this arm. It's really cool. It really looks super tropical. And the tour today will also be very fun, simply because you can see everything uh, tied together now. And honestly, I also like this Red River Hawk uh, habitat a lot. I mean, I loved the Sicily one as well. It, it was definitely fun. But this one over here looks uh, a little bit more natural, a little bit more tropical and I think it just fits the project a lot better. So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. And also I'm super happy about the traversable area. These animals seem to really have a good time in, in this area. Just like, I mean, if you have the monitor built before, <laughs> you know how absolutely hard the traversable area is to deal with. It's like you put a stone down and the half of the habitat is not traversable anymore. It's really weird. But with those wonderful fellas over here, they seem to be able to just go over everything. And so I could go a lot more crazy with the detailing and just put a lot more things in. Uh, and I just felt like it looks really cool at the end of the episode. I really do think um, it it's fun. Once things really work out, they obviously are a lot more fun. Um, so yeah. Uh, put also like a, a little bit of a different planter in to, uh, you know, just separate this a bit more from the Lagebon area. And just in general, I wanted to create a couple more designs. So we are coming up here with a new fence design. In fact, we will, I think we have two at the end of the day. Um, so it's really cool to have different types of fences as well in these different areas. So just in general, I'm... I'm very happy with how this all turned out and came together. Um, it's basically a very cool situation to have uh, in this in this game to to be able to build a project like that relatively. I, I don't want to say quick because I spent quite a couple hours on it, but uh, relatively straightforward is basically fitting. Um, just making sure that we have like a little bit of a natural viewing area over here, as you can see, playing a lot with the decals, with some stones, with some leaf clutter. Um, sometimes you don't need concrete. Sometimes you just all you need is some clutter to make things look natural and realistic. I'm very happy with how this all turned out. I can't wait for the tour today. It's really like I'm looking forward to jumping in game to show you the tour. Uh, but don't skippity skip. Uh, stay with me. Give me those watch time. Okay. No, if you want to skip, it's fine to skip. But uh, yeah, here you can see, by the way, the traversable area is really good. I had this little lower water, or like very shallow water over here for them to run through because it, I think it feels and looks really cool if they have a little bit of water in the middle, um, just kind of little splashes and stuff. And I also went in relatively um, brave with the foliage in this one. So it's relatively lush in comparison to the other ones, but I wanted to create that just to give this really immersive feeling of a lush habitat. 
which I think I delivered. Um, I think it really worked out well. And I want to address one comment in specific because I found this comment interesting in a way. Um, it was on Reddit to one of my screenshots recently from the Fusa, Fosa, Fosa. I still have no idea how this animal is pronounced and honestly, weird cat-like Madagascan animal, okay? Um, which is it's still cute though. Um, and I said that this was one of my best, if not the best screenshot I ever take and uh, I've ever taken. Um, and I stand by that. I think this screenshot, like the thumbnail of the last episode, was by far one of the best I ever took. In fact, the episode is about to be the most successful video of the entire DLC so far. It's definitely the best video in terms of views. It's definitely the best uh, video in terms of click rate. So um, I think I have a point that this one was really good. Um, and also the person claimed that recently it has been a lot too often, like the, I've, I forgot the word what it was, but uh, superlatives is maybe too much, but like every single video is like the best ever. First of all, that's not true, but um, recently, I think definitely my bills have been a lot better than before, but this is not because of superlatives or because something is happening or whatever or clickbait. No, um, it, it's easy to explain. A, I've got more time than usual because I took holidays for all the builds. B, this DLC brought a lot of great pieces in and a lot of stuff. And C, and this is something um, unfair in a way because I don't like to say it because that means that I confirm it and that I basically uh, have given up to agree anything else against it. Building tropical builds or something with water in the game naturally is better and performs better. So that all together makes my builds better than before. And as much as I love, for example, Yosemite Valley, as much as I love this project, if you compare the builds from Yosemite Valley with Zisali or even this project, there is absolutely no argument that these projects over here are much better in every single way. They are more ingenuity is more like there's a lot more like innovation in here that's the word i was looking for um there is a lot more um nature beauty in here which is not because i'm I, I became better it's more because we have so much more at hand now um but in general it's it's all a lot more fleshed out and this is all thanks to the yosemite don't get me wrong i still love this project a lot but it Yosemite was a test balloon for three years in which I learned so, so many things, new techniques and all that stuff went into the new project. So it's just obvious that these are my best ever. Um, and recently, I don't know why, but especially with this DLC, the builds have been my, like the, the Panda project was the first one where I really was like, oh yeah, that, that might be, that might be something. And it turned out beautifully. But then this DLC came around the corner and obviously then these, these things gotten better and better. So it's nothing to do with the superlatives. I think it's very easy to explain. However, I'm not saying that this Habitat trophy is my best ever. Uh, it's a good one. It's a very good one, but um, it's, it's not at at the level of the others I just mentioned, which is normal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you guys think that I am going clickbait and I'm doing clickbait, I, I think <laughs> either I have a very weird perception of myself and the channel or your... Um, like the bar that needs to be, you know, uh, jumped over to, to become clickbait is very low because it, it, I have a hard time looking at my channel to find, find any big clickbait. There are a couple of those I made intentionally and I even talked about this why and just made fun out of it. For example, the reaction video to uh, uh, our friend, uh, let's game it out. So these type of things are obviously clickbaity in a way. But the rest is like, I mean, sure, I have to write my titles and my stuff in a way that people click on it. And in times of YouTube where Mr. Beast is shouting eight and a half minutes at you and other people putting their astonished faces on every single media out there and others kind of put people with a broken leg and, and bleeding stuff on thumbnails... Of course, I need to do something that people click. Like, try to run a YouTube channel in 2023 without anything interesting on your thumbnail and just show whatever you did without anything um, in particular attractive. You will not be able to run a YouTube at all. Uh, so sure, there, there has to be something. And honestly, I'm not even good at that. I'm not good at that because I can't... Uh, I can't just like I, I can't find this with myself. I just can't do it um, 
Like, obviously, look at gaming channels who put their faces on the builds. Like, they all went, they just, like, went places. They have, like, so much better views and stuff. Um, I just can't. It's it's not my thing. It will never be. So, yeah, put my putting my face on videos where my face isn't shown is basically weird anyways. And then the, these few times I did this already felt super uncomfortable in general. So I, I will never do this. I have no, you know, don't get me wrong. I have no issues showing my face, but it's... I don't know, it doesn't belong in video thumbnails, in my opinion, which is unfortunately a very, very, very different opinion than YouTube itself and the algorithm things. But hey, I mean, I'm not here for the algorithm. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> Anyhow, so we are almost at the end of the um, of the time lapse, and I can't wait to show this habitat to you in the real time part. It's, it's so good. I'm doing some rearranging uh, at the end with uh, the climbing areas for our friends, the Gibbon, and I put some in. But uh, it's only for a good one. Ah, God, I just can't wait to show it to you. It's so good. It, it's so much fun to go through here. Also with the planters I did and just doing some rearrangement. By the way, here's a little spoiler of the monitor habitat. Don't look too much in, onto it. It's, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you, you'll still like the video. The monitor habitat is also a very good one. And I might even add something at the end of the video uh, to, to make it more exclusive because there's still something not done. Uh, but yeah, so this is the moment where we jump into the real-time part. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's do it. Three, two, one in the real time part and oh i'm so happy i mean just look at this look at this frame over here oh we can also see your hawk already in the background it's so good um just as a little quick heads up where we are this is where this oh my god look at just that this is so phenomenal this is exactly what i meant um oh boy this is such a cool moment uh yeah i put already some sea monks in as you can tell um also did a couple of uh build here in the center i'm not sure if that was in the video i think it's in the next video um so yeah a couple of things i've already done and then this is the monitor area of the next episode and also there's going to be something in the background and then we are almost done with the whole build but here is already kind of a little showcase of how it will turn out you can see there's everything on the left hand side done a lot of clutter just left it very rural um, very organic as if something already started to grow here and then on the right hand side you can see this is the hawk habitat and oh it's looking so good just with all the trees and stuff in here and then they have their area in the middle in which they can run and then you've got this viewing spot where we can basically see everything you can go to the side and then go to this side and there are the hawks just going in the middle having some water oh it's so good it's so good i love it it's a little bit on the small side of things you know it's a rather small habitat for them um i you know i still i'm still debating with myself what i will do about this if i will give them some outside area or some backstage area not sure because it it is definitely more or less on the on the small side um there's one running across here ah oh, just looking so good but there's really not that much space I can uh, make free, simply because there isn't. I mean, I could make them like a floating terrace at the end, um, something like that, or terrace, um, you know, um, that would be working in a way. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Oh, look at this. Little scratchy scratch. Look at stretch. A very good body control of yours to do that on this cliff over here. <laughs> very nice yeah as i said it's super cool it's super lush it's super nice you've got all the the climbing phrase frames above us where they can technically climb over but i think we have no one going here rather uh easy at the moment and then you've got this area with a little uh, tree in the middle and then you can you can see how they can roam around have a little sleep here got some roots on the ground and then as i said this is the separation planter and then on this hand side you've got the little chill area for uh, our friends, the Gibbons and the uh, Siamangs. And then this is uh, a little bit of a store, a store end, storefront end, where you can grab some drinks or so on, and then sit here and obviously have a nice look at this lagoon. We're going to put some trees and stuff at the end so that this all looks a lot more nice. But I mean, I can imagine sitting over here would be such a dream, like just like by the, by the lakeside and just watch through the lagoon. You can hear the animals, you know, you can see them even swing by and just in general very nice and I think this is really something I wanted to achieve with this build uh, at the end I might actually add so many more animals so that they will actually go here I'm a bit confused why they don't let's follow this one if it's going all the way over or if there's maybe something I broke it, it oh look at that they're, they're going there so maybe I broke something in in, in the cause of it but uh, not sure could be have you seen that again oh, I love this super cool movement okay this one is coming back as well 
yeah, I can't really do too many of the enrichment items uh, to the outside uh, simply because um, we can't have any food enrichment there simply because the keepers will not get there. It's a bit of a pity, but uh, that's how it is. Yeah, let me just quickly check if they can go there. So we can actually click you, for example, and then see that. Hmm, looks actually pretty okay to me. Can they get all the way to the back? And uh, let's go all the way. And then we are here. Ah, no, look at that. This is this is this is the problem. They can't really get to the ground, and hence they don't have the drink. Kimi will not have the drink, and then they cannot. There is some turtle area that shouldn't be in. Um, okay, I gotta fix that. I'm not sure why this doesn't work. Um, maybe this is because they can't really get there. Something might be blocked in the middle. Could be. Um, I will check this, why exactly they can't make the way here, uh, because the other sides work. Let me just quickly show the other side, um, where we go all the way here, um, because this one, this is where the Fusa, Fusa, Fosa, Fosa is, you can tell that uh, this one is working in the back here, and then they will be able to get here and always climb above us, uh, if I just uh, disable this, you can, you can totally see how that should work out. Oh, I love that. I really do love this. Okay, so um, I'll be I'll be there to fix this in the future. I'm not exactly sure what is blocking too much of the view or, or of the climbing. It might actually be that there is something blocking the climbing here. So when I was building the trees and stuff, it might be that some of the trees got in the way. But I can't really I can't really say which one because it worked. So maybe it's the uh, maybe it's that one even only. Sometimes it's just the elephant grass, you know? We all know our, our mighty super OP elephant grass. Maybe that has been already it. Let me just quickly check that. And then we're done with the episode. Sometimes, as I said, it's just that. Uh, maybe this one's already coming our way. No, it's not, okay. Uh, it's very hard to click them. Very hard to click them in play. There you go, I did this. Awesome, okay, so climbing is enabled. No, it's still not working, as you can tell. It's not yellow. Um, Weird, because it worked. It, it definitely worked. I'm not sure why exactly. They can definitely also go down. Yeah, they can now escape here, right? Uh, this is this is this is weird, guys. This is weird. I might actually change this uh, after the episode. Uh, well, not sure what exactly that was, so I can also redo that. It should reset this. Okay, at least they cannot escape anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna fix this and then uh, we'll have a good time at the end with the final tour. It's gonna be awesome. The final tour is gonna be awesome. Let me just go once into the habitat so you can see it's full glory. Ah, look at that view. I love it. This view, let alone, is, is showcasing what I meant. Let me just see if I can have a good time of day. But there's a bit of sun getting in. Ah, look, 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 there you go. There you go. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, this looks beautiful. Like, let's zoom a little if we can, a bit more. Ah, oh, there you go, it's so good looking. I really do admire that. Okay, anyways guys, I really hope you had a good time with today's episode, I know I did. <laughs> uh, so hopefully you did too. Um, I would love to see you guys on the channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It helps me out a bunch. Um, and yeah, just have a good time. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I talk to you next one, until then, goodbye.